Hello there. So yesterday in my review of the Lovebirds display, which is a retired set, there are two available. Go check out that video to find what two you can buy. And I do mention it might be worth parting this out on Bricklink, of course. It's not going to cost what the set cost in retail. But again, go check that video if you want to know more about this set. Either way, today's video is about Bricklink and I did mention Brick Owl in the title. We'll get onto that a bit later if you don't know what Brick Owl is. But today, Brick Link is quite literally today when this video goes out, which I am recording this a bit early, there is going to be some big changes to Brick Link. I've seen a few people make sort of shorts and shorter content about what the actual changes are, but not explain it too well. And that was originally when it was meant to be changing for February 1st. They've changed a few little things, updated it, and they're now going live as of the time of recording this video, February 15th, 2024, which is when this video will be going out. So as of today, there's not much time to prepare. I'm sorry I didn't give you a warning in advance, but they have been changing the last few days. I'm going to get it up on screen, what's actually changed, and just go through it with you and why Bricklink isn't going to be as good as it was. In fact, if you've got any sort of store, if you're selling on Bricklink, it's going to be so much more easier but as a buyer personally and someone who treasures the differences between different lego bricks it's a horrible change anyway let's get it up on screen and i'll go through it with you so as you can now see on your screen there are a few different variants that are changing what a variant is is lego over the years improved their brick quality and the actual quality of the specific lego brick itself just to better wear to being played with over time we've seen tiles and certain jumper plates and different modified plates that don't have the right studs on top get these grooves at the bottom and the reason behind that is because plates with a brick separator as you can see that comes with lego plates you can sort of clip this onto and pull off tiles and different jumper plates and that haven't always had that same ability in fact the new brick separators do have this extra third hole in the middle between the two studs, which does allow four jumper plates, but certain tiles, of course, don't have any studs on top. So what the groove at the bottom allows is for the bottom of the brick separator, the pointy end to go underneath it, pop them off, and it just makes it a lot easier than having to get a pair of pliers or something to try and get some of these tiles. Of course, you can use your nails, you can use your teeth. Don't use your teeth, use a brick separator don't use your teeth but you can use your nails and it's just going to damage the brick over time so this gets underneath the tile or whichever sort of groove you're trying to work with likewise with Technic I've got a whole video on different Technic elements that have different sort of grooves for different things I'm not sure if the Technic pieces are being changed just yet hopefully hopefully they're not because they all have so many different meanings but certain frosted bricks are no longer going to be whacked with different frosted bricks you've got you just see on the screen the whole list of different things that are going to be going x-shaped axle holes there are different axle holes there are cross shaped and there are sort of plus shaped some of these parts just aren't going to be working in place of the others some of them aren't going to make too much of a difference especially some of the different older variants they are sort of locked in together anyway a lot of the time and i've seen so many people order off bricklink get the wrong one and of course bricklink has some great customer service so chances are you'll be refunded or replaced at least with the correct piece but this is just going to make it so much difficult for finding that exact piece that you're going to need so we'll go through it a bit and i'll explain all the different changes to it of course the bricks with the frosted sort of transparency in them it does say that this is going to be going i'm not quite sure what a lot of this means because are these going to be whacked in with normal bricks it just says the variants will no longer be accepted so i guess if you want a nice clear one by four i don't even know if one by fours are done in clear but if you're trying to buy a clear brick and you end up with a frosted brick there's not much Bricklink can do because they are going to be whacked in together. It is, well, it's going to be so much of a pain if you're trying to get a sleek look for a car window or a certain clear element that you want to represent a window, a bit of glass, and a frosted piece arrives. It's not going to be great. Likewise, if you're trying to build an older set that has a frosted piece, I don't think the frosted pieces are really made anymore. 
but for slopes if you're trying to find a frosted slope for a certain set you want to rebuild and you're getting a normal one it's not going to be great smooth slopes are also going to be no longer accepted as opposed to rough slopes there are different textures for the slopes again it's not going to be too much from a display but if you are trying to get the specific set lego have their own piece numbers for the both of them and now you can't decide which one you're getting on bricklink hopefully a load of sellers i've got a few favorited sellers which have some really great service between their teams and even if they're run by one person there is some great service out there so hopefully sellers learn to put these specific codes in the actual item description it'd be so much easier i mean most of the time it's only great quality or certain cracks that are specified in there so if they can specify the different lego element changes in the brick link descriptions then that'll make it a lot easier but it also does affect newer sellers that are just whacking on the general piece they're not really going to see as much being sold so i think this is more of a con than a pro of course lego want to make this accessible to more people so they're making it easy to put bricks on here but for a lot of people that have the store i'm sure that's half the fun i eventually myself do want to have a bricklink store and this is just something that deters me a little bit because different bricks are worth different values especially some of the older ones like we've got the torsos with ribs down here because some torsos have the ribs the newer ones do and the old ones didn't some of the old space torsos are worth so much more than the new ones that we're getting in battle packs and all these different sets and gift with purchases that we're now getting but now there's no way to tell on bricklink so i guess you're going to get more people ordering them hoping for one of the older ones and to stumble on a gold mine but most people are just going to pick up the cheapest one and what about sets that include a specific part that now no longer is accepted if you part out the set are you going to be getting it's just so many questions of course we'll see in the coming days but the technic bricks with the axle holes the plates all the different technic elements there are two different i think this mainly affects the plates because there are some cross holes and there are some sort of more plus holes of course the cross holes are at that different angle so basically bricks are more likely to break if you're getting the old ones than the new ones of course we said this in my illegal techniques over time lego improves their craft and just finds way of making it better over time which is what you'd want for any sort of service really but the chairs the sprue marks on the chairs some chairs have a dot in the middle some chairs don't and i'm not quite sure out of them two which one is the new one they're just merging a lot of bricks now i did mention brick out earlier on which is a whole nother site which i might as well get up for you and as you can see brick out is a little bit like brick link you've got part sets minifigures popular stores i'm not sure if brick link has that feature but let's go in and part out one of the new sets so we don't want any of the cmfs because of course they are just mostly minifigures anyway but if we can find the batman poly bag which is a great poly bag i didn't manage to see it here in the uk i believe it was sold in like a tesco or saying it doesn't matter you can see the set number all the set details the barcodes a bit more detailed than brick link you can then get the instructions up for this which you can't do on brick link i'm pretty sure you can't do on brick link so that is definitely a plus you can even take a look at the packaging but you can break down this set so you can see the inventory which is sort of like rubricable if you've gone over to rubricable if you have be sure you've checked out my mocks before you leave but if you have you'll see an inventory similar to this i think they put their minifigures at the bottom brick album at the top and it's basically a small brick link store which it isn't small it's the second biggest it's actually the biggest second hand one i believe because bricklink is now owned by lego i feel like i just say that enough but you can part out this set include it into a wish list which it has signed me in automatically here bricklink no matter how many times i tick that box i always have to sign in honestly this is just a brick out advert at this point but you can still take a look at all the different pieces let's go for a piece in specific so let's have a look at the batarang it says from one penny there are a bunch of batarangs including dc sets it's not only in every set with batman but there's also some 
spares with that set as well so it's starting off at 0.7p here but one thing you've got to look out for is shipping now what i like about this is bricklink doesn't show the shipping on the actual item so this is the price and shipping so if i wanted to get it from the netherlands which i hope that is the netherlands flag it will cost me 1280 but if i go down to the first uk one hermy Oodles hut which i know is on bricklink because i've ordered through them before great service bricklink tends to be about three pound for shipping especially with the royal mail prices going up so that's not necessarily the seller's fault so that is about what it would be on bricklink but if you look right underneath it you can see ellie's bricks here which is basically for advertising for all these companies because 161 you're paying one pence for the batarang and one pound 60 for delivery I actually find that with some things delivery does get a bit better on here and I don't know if that's because they're trying to encourage people to use it more they've got cheaper ways of delivering it themselves or what it is but Brickmine 2020 again is an amazing account on Bricklink I have ordered a few times through them so I'd probably order through that one I know that it's a good store £2.30 isn't that bad for delivery and you can check out all the pieces that they have on their storefront as well as other different colors of the batarang so there's new for black and there's also used for black flat silver and yellow and i don't know if that is through the same store or if that's in general if that's through the same store that is great you can go straight back to the catalog it's just a bit easier to use i think than bricklink especially with bricklink getting rid of the variations of course we can go take a look at the shop i'm not quite sure how you can see all of their stuff but i'm sure there's definitely a way you can browse by shop there we go browse brickmine 2020 go through all of the different things that they've got in store this is sort of the featured page of bricklink so it is a lot easier to use don't let me for you by thinking it was a bit hard because i couldn't find where i was going once you're using this for a while it becomes just as easy if not easier than bricklink and one thing i will say i haven't bought anything off brick out yet so i don't know about their returns policy in that for instance but searching for bricks is so so much easier so if you're on bricklink to find a slope then you'd have to put in slope and the size let's go with slope 45 which i talked about in yesterday's video we've got a bunch of them and it's one of the bricks that will be changing over on bricklink with the frosted bricks because i know there's a few frosted ones here we go lego slope one by two you've got the piece numbers how many are available and the certain price but on bricklink you'd have to put in that specific let's go with a random word like angle I guess you've got all the angled pieces showing up, but there we go, wedge plates. Angle would not show wedge plates on Bricklink. No chance of it showing that. And eventually you will find the slopes here. There you go, we've got more wedges there. Just because I put an angle, if you don't know what the piece is called, basically just put in any words you associate with it. And chances are Brick Out will find them. It's a great source. As you could see, when I searched, I was actually still looking in Brick Mine Store, which similar to Bricklink they can both do that but I think Brick Owl truly is the next Brick Link and hopefully Lego doesn't buy out Brick Owl and do the same remove the different variations I can understand Lego wanting to make it available for more people but at the same time we do have Lego's online pick a brick if people want to buy parts and that is a lot simpler than Bricklink getting rid of all these different variations and especially the hinges with teeth the old hinges are terrible they really are and lego know this which is why they only produce the hinges with teeth now so it's definitely going to be a big change there we go the tiles with the grooves aren't even going to be differentiated as having that groove and that is a disaster for bricklink it is a shame i really do like bricklink I order so many things off it perhaps in the future when i get around to doing my big marks i'll have to give brick out a go but Bricklink is a great site. I do recommend it when buying Lego. You've just got to now be careful about all these different, all these different variants that are no longer accepted in the catalogue. The groove, the vented and blocked studs, that is a really, really big change. And especially for minifigure heads, there you go, includes minifigure heads. Older minifigure heads are now not going to be worth as much because they're going to be thrown in. People are going to sell some older bricks and not understand the value of what they have. And just 
whack it in with whatever the average price is which does include newer heads which obviously are going to be much more cheaper i don't think it's a very effective way because they're completely deleting these also they've got to go back through and replace all of the older variants with their newer counterpart okay when people are building older sets it's going to be a bit better because you're going to have the newer piece but as i said they don't always line up one to one and from a collector's point of view i can understand why a load of people are unhappy with this so if you do want to stop supporting bricklink of course i'd recommend using lego's online pick a brick but if you want some cheaper lego do check out brick out and you can sign up for free you don't have to pay anything to have an account you don't have to pay for any sort of membership i don't think there is any sort of membership through brick out because of course they're probably getting a cut of every purchase and you can find already some of your favorite brick link sellers over on brick owl it's probably also another way for them to sell their bricks it is now the biggest non lego seller of lego i'm sure because well at least second hand lego because brick link is of course owned by lego i've said that a million times in this video i do apologize if i have said that too many times but it is sad to see Bricklink changing for the worse. I definitely prefer if Bricklink at least had different UI or user interfaces that would show all of these grouped in and then collectors can still see the different pieces. There are better ways of going about it and Lego still haven't added their own pick a brick service to the site which makes it so hard when you've got to have five different tabs up comparing Bricklink, Brick Owl, if you want eBay, then comparing it with Lego's pick a brick and then comparing it with actual sets you can buy to see if you can get the pieces for much cheaper, which is definitely an overlooked method. If you don't check on Lego.com, fair enough, not everyone has the time to be checking all around, but it's definitely worth trying to find some £9 set that the piece comes in that if you're ending up paying anything near to sort of £1, 50 pence, it's better getting the full set than getting the piece, at least for cheaper sets. But Again, this is about Bricklink's change, removing all these variants. It's not great to see. It's definitely a step closer to Lego, which isn't really what Bricklink was in the first place. So I think for any of these sort of pieces, I'll definitely be using Brick out instead. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I think this video has gone on for long enough. I've spoken for nearly half an hour. I'll trim this down for you, so don't worry. You won't be sat here for half an hour. Of course, stay tuned for more awesome content by hitting that subscribe button before you leave. And may the bricks be with you always.